press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. He was just seven when his father's driver introduced him to Kung Fu. That began his love affair with martial arts that has lasted more than three decades now. This is the story of India's first and only official Shaolin master, Kanishka Sharma. Kanishk's passion for martial arts was ignited by an unlikely person. His father's driver, a big fan of Kung Fu, introduced Kanishk to movies and books that would leave an indelible impression on his young mind. When I was nine years old, eight years old, he, he got this movie for me, 36 Chambers of Shaolin. When I finally saw that movie, and one of the scenes, the first scene of 36 Chambers, was a monk is sitting and the, uh, Gordon Liu, the main actor, you know, he says, I want to join. Shaolin, and the the monk he says out and he does like this and Gordon Liu you know flies in there. That's the highest level of kung fu. Like chi, without touching you can hit. So I was like wow, yes, I want to do this. A Shaolin warrior in India back in the 80s was unheard of. As life and adulthood took over, he pursued an MBA and later joined an Indian company. The love affair with kung fu was broken. Disillusioned, he found excuses to escape work and used his free time to learn Kung Fu in a local gym. So my father said, why do you want to you know, do this? He said, do something which you love doing and turn your passion into the profession, but be the best. And if you have to be the best, you got to go mad over it. These were his last few words. So after his death, I resigned and I came back and I gave my resignation to my mother and she freaked out. You know, like, she said, are you, are you joking? I said, no, I'm going. Initially sceptical, Kanishk's mother eventually came around to supporting him. This time, Kanishk knew he had to commit himself to his lover. His embrace of Kung Fu took him to the world-renowned Shaolin Temple in China. Training at the Shaolin Temple is not for everyone. Seven to eight hours of physical, mental and spiritual training, demands of constant discipline and dedication, living in an unfamiliar land, can all break even the most determined of characters. Kanishk had second thoughts. Homesick, he entertained thoughts of ending his love story. During that time in 2001, 2, 3, 4, training was really hardcore. So I called my mom from China and, uh, you know, I, I almost had tears in my eyes because I couldn't speak Chinese at that point of time. I was away from home. That was the first time, I, second time I traveled abroad after my MBA. And my body was paining. So I was wanting my mother to say, okay, fine, come back, you know, it happens. But she's an iron lady. She's, she just told me on the phone, don't even think of telling me that you want to come back. You better stay there and do what you wanted to do. With renewed optimism, Kanishk fought through the tough period and successfully emerged as India's first Shaolin master, a dream he first had at the age of seven. Despite the ups and downs, he persisted. Kanishk is not a selfish lover. He wants to spread the love to anyone who wants to embrace it and inspire other people to change their lives through martial arts. This is his labour of love, the Shaolin Gurukul. Gurukul is an ancient Indian practice that requires students to stay with the teacher and learn. Started in 2015, Shifu Kanishk's camp is based on this Indian traditional teaching system. The journey to knowledge and enlightenment is arduous. But his students take the effort, trek up the hills and go through a rigorous training system. Kanishk's teaching style is in line with tradition. Here, it's all about combat and learning the Shaolin way of life. Kanishka teaches the traditional form of Shaolin that is all about the mind, spirit and body. 
And that's the reason why people from not just all over India, but also all over the world come here to this remote part of Indian Himalayas to learn it. Over the past 34 years, Kanishk has mastered many martial arts. He started with karate and then kung fu. This was followed by the Indian martial art Kalari Paitu. After that, he went to China's Shaolin Temple to learn northern style Shaolin Kung Fu and then to the southern Shaolin sect to study a style called the 18 Lohan Hands. There are three facets to this Gurukul, which is similar to what I learned from Shaolin, which is Chan, Wu and Yi. Chan means Zen. So you do meditation, it's a way of life. Wu is martial skills. Because if you do too much of martial arts and there is no Zen, you become very aggressive. So balance your mind out, Chan and Wu goes together in Shaolin. Yi is medicine part. If you know how to hurt someone, you should know how to heal him. And I wanted people to come here, learn traditional system, experience, discover themselves here, go through the same training which I went and feel the difference. Training at Shaolin Temple in 2001, he has travelled the world spreading the message of traditional Shaolin. He earned the name Shin Yan Yu, which means perfect, given to him by his master for his extraordinary skills. But what matters to him most is being able to promote Shaolin culture through the Shaolin Guru Kul. I think it is when the teacher wants to teach you and the student is ready, it is something else, it's magic. And the Shifu, the word means, is teacher like father. Kanishk has a close relationship with his students. Before I was doing sports karate uh, for about three and a half years, but I was not feeling connected to it. Then I decided that I felt that I have to learn something traditional and this is my life. So after uh, doing my graduation program, I just decided to come to him and start learning from him. Uh, when I first came and look at him, it was like, okay, this is the teacher I was looking for. Uh, it was just the energy that told me that, okay, I'm in the right place. Two, three, leaning forward, jab. One, two, three, transition, jab. One. He has the innate skills with his entire experience. He's been able to master so many different martial arts and not just learn them for the sake of talking about it, but actually be the best in each. To say that Kanishka's dream is an unusual one in a country like India would be an understatement. This is clear by the fact that he's not just India's first Shaolin master, but he's also the only official disciple of the Shaolin Temple in China. This means that this unusual journey has come with its own share of struggles. Kanishk follows a strict and disciplined daily routine. I used to get up at 4.30 in the morning, sleep at 8.30 at night, you know. I had my regimented schedule. So I didn't have friends. I didn't do party and stuff. So there's a lot of labor which went in. I had to sacrifice a lot what young people used to do. Kanishk aims to be the best at what he does and strives for perfection. He wants to inspire more people to take up martial arts as a profession in a country where it is seen more as a hobby. I never stop learning. That is the secret of my being a martial artist and still sustaining in today's world and commanding that respect because I always believe that respect is earned. It cannot be demanded. Thank you. Despite the challenges, Kanishk followed his love even if the journey brought with it countless sleepless oh, nights and travelling to far-off lands. <laughs> the Shaolin way of life includes a vow of a lifetime commitment to learning. Kanish made this commitment when he was young and has remained devoted to the love of his life. 